Hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm Hutz, and we're playing The Binding of Isaac. So in the last episode, we took on the ninth challenge, and there is one more challenge left, and it's called The Purist. And if I'm reading that correctly, I think that's where you have to go through the entire Isaac game, probably just to Mom's heart, without picking up a single item. And that means that you, you are just pure Isaac, you know, you're not uh, tainted by any of these devil items or any, any of the items in the basement. But uh, instead of doing that right away, I think I'm going to hold off because that's going to be really difficult and really stressful. Even more so than the normal game. So what I think I want to do is just do, maybe maybe I'll just do a random run. Uh, that sounds good to me. Uh, we have Kane. Kane's a very good character. I usually like to play with Kane if I'm ever going to pick a random character. He's got pretty high speed, he's got decent damage, and he's got the luck foot. If you can see uh, right here is the first item you start with, the luck foot. That item will make it... That, that actually does a lot of things. It makes it so that all pills are good. It makes it so that like fortune telling machines pay out a lot more. The three skulled Monty guy, he pays out uh, like with like a 60% chance instead of 30. Just lots of good stuff come from that that pill. There we go. And if you guys didn't know, you can kind of sneak uh, tears through that little corner there and hit enemies when they're trying to, like that spider was trying to cheat through that corner and he could have popped out and hit me. Uh, okay, so we have a library on the first floor and we could go into the library and actually start getting rid of books. But since I'm not Isaac, well, I don't know, because I could find an, a good book like Book of Revelations and want to just take that with me forever. Because it's a pretty good item, or Book of Belial would be a good book, so maybe I will spend my key to get in there. And $3 bill, that makes it so I have random tiers for every room. And, uh, for example, this is Mom's Contact, where I'll have freezing tiers. Uh, there's also Triple Shot, there's also, uh, what's that? Sparkly Eyes? I'm not sure if that's just with the $3 bill. Um, there's like Magneto is one of them, there's, there's tons of different, uh, there's tons of different effects for the tiers. Uh, so yeah, let's go into the library. There's our Book of Revelations, that's exactly what I was talking about. And I might as well pick up the Necronomicon just to get it out of the pool. Because if we're going to start going into the, um... If we're going to start doing this, we might as well go balls to the wall. But the only bad part is, we're going to guarantee ourselves... Oh god, look out, look out, look out. We have, like, a ridiculous amount of speed. I feel like I have, like, twice the normal of what Kane should start with. And I'm not sure if that's just me. Oh wow, oh wow. But it's, it's I mean, it's paying off right now, so... Wow, that was lucky. Just blow up, dude. Oh, that guy blew up. Wow, that was very unlucky. So I was lucky and then unlucky, so I guess I'm down back to even. Anyways, what was I saying? We're gonna get nothing but um, the horseman, and that's gonna make it so that we get lots of cubes of meat and not normal boss-type items. So, we won't be getting things like HP upgrades, which is kind of a shame, because we won't be able to spend that on deals with the devil which contains lots of good items, but we will be getting lots of spirit hearts, especially if we get things like uh, Nun's Habit. Uh, I have one bomb, so I'm gonna check for that secret room. It should be right here. Booyah Pasha. Wow, lots of money. I always like seeing when it has the nine coins and also when one of the coins is a nickel or a dime. That's a very, very good item room. But you know what, we're one cent short of being able to buy a shop item, which is like, just sucky. So hopefully, we'll get a penny or two on the boss fight. And I think that's where we're headed next. And I don't have enough money to check for a top secret room, so we won't be doing that. Uh, yes, I think we're gonna go in. Famine. Not excited to fight Famine, but we can do it. Can be done. Like I said, uh, Kane doesn't have the worst starting damage, so that's kind of the one you know, silver lining here. But we better get some damage upgrades because if we're gonna fight things like uh, death and conquest, that's gonna be extremely difficult. Once again, I'm just gonna reiterate that we will not be getting health upgrades, but the bonus there and why it's worth it is that we're gonna get be we're gonna get uh, tons of soul hearts, which are kind of like health upgrades, but you know, you guys know. So it's a trade-off. Plus, you know, we might even get like a level 4 uh, cube of meat, which would be like a super meat boy, which I would definitely like to take. Uh, we did not get a penny, so I don't think we're going to go into the shop. I mean, I could cross my fingers and hope I get uh, a, an item on sale, but it's probably not going to happen. <clears throat> 
All right. Curse of Darkness. I hate, 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 hate Curse of Darkness. Give me the Curse of Labyrinth any day over Curse of Darkness. Or whatever the other one is. Like, extra large floors, you do miss out on a shop, uh, deal with the devil, you miss out on an arcade, lots of things, but uh, usually I think Curse of Darkness is worse. Book of Sin. Okay, well that's our third book. Let's see what it gives us. It's gonna give us a tarot card, and that's gonna be the Hanged Man, which could come in handy, I suppose, if we ever need to get, uh, if we ever need to get flight to get to an item. All right, or maybe like if I fought Peep, I think I would probably pop the Hanged Man card so I didn't have to worry about his creep. Okay, lots of poop payouts today, man. But then again, Luck Foot does increase the chances that you're gonna find something out of the poop and the fires, so there you go. Another uh, plus for that Luck Foot. Um, all right, easy enough. Uh, we have my reflection on this floor, on this room. Don't take stupid damage against the orange flames. There's our shop. So you know what? Um, we went to the item room, I think. Yeah, we got Book of Sin. So I will just go right on in. And it's nothing good. Notched Axe is not good. Actually, it's not nothing good. Because the, the pill is good. I'll take the pill. And take it right away. Range up. Okay, because we, we had the luck foot, so we knew it was good. And you know what? I'll go ahead and buy the key. Yeah. Because we have zero keys. We should probably buy a key back. And go right on in and fight our... Oh, maybe I didn't use Book of Revelations yet. So maybe that's kind of the strategy I want to um, use here. Maybe I should try to get to the boss room before I even get a chance to pop the Book of Revelations card. That way I don't have to worry about fighting a horseman. Because like like I said, I'd rather get healthy upgrades than uh, higher levels of cubes, cubes of meat. They're not terrible, but they're just not um, what I want. That range upgrade is actually working really well because we got my reflection, which actually makes shots pretty difficult because of your range. If your range is really small, the, the tears curve back right away and you can't hit anybody without getting super close, but this is working out quite nicely. Oh god, he charged me. Uh, pop my Book of Revelations right now. Extra Soul Heart. We got a uh, wire coat hanger, which is going to be a tears up, which is fantastic. We have a tinted rock here. I'm going to go ahead and blow that up. Another soul heart, and let's go to the devil room. Um, we have to make a choice. Do we be, should we go super risky, or should we not go super risky? You know what, let's do it. I'm gonna be risky. I got the, the mark, which is gonna be a damage up, and also a speed up. And I left brimstone, because brimstone can kind of cheapen a run, and it, and it makes it just so monotone, you know? It's like, you don't do anything but brimstone shots for the rest of the run and like I'm sure there'll be a time in the future where I will take brimstone because hey I might need it or maybe I just haven't taken brimstone in a while because it's it's fun and it, it is different than your average Isaac play because of the the straight shot but for now and it's the same thing with technology too but you know what I, I will be taking them in the future just right now this very instant I felt like I didn't want it so we're running on nothing but spirit hearts, and so, you know what, I'm actually going to use the Hanged Man right now and go into the this room uh, one way for free and one way out for free as well. So that was a teleport to the devil, which is not worth a damn thing considering we were already there. But at least we didn't lose any health, that's definitely the plus side there. Alright, this guy needs to die. Our damage is looking really good right now. Oh, we go! Almost dodged into that one. Dude, just die. Damage is good. Um, how many damage upgrades did we get? Just just one so far? I think so. Cube meat mark. Yeah, we only got one damage upgrade, but we're killing people like a boss. Let's see here. I don't know if this is a boss trap room or a mob trap room. Uh, I don't have. I have it's curse of darkness, so I can't really see. And I have both no health and full health, so both doors would be open. Technically, that is. Um. So I think it's actually a boss trap room, because it's an HP upgrade, but we'll see soon enough. Yep, it's a boss trap room. Okay, so it's kind of a, a blessing in disguise that I actually took that deal with the devil, because if I hadn't, I wouldn't have been able to get into here. I would have had uh, two hearts worth, and that would have 
closed off this room to me. So now I was able to actually get an extra heart. Because if I had three hearts when I went to the deal with the devil, I would take it without even thinking. Alright, speed upgrade. Um, I like our speed right now. It's actually really, really good. I actually wouldn't mind it to have a speed down. So like if something like uh, small rock came into play or lard, I would uh, be more than willing to take it. I think that's actually it for the entire floor. Yep. I do believe so. Almost um, got our Book of Revelations charge back. So I have to decide if I want to try to make it to the boss room. You know what? I think I'm just going to pop the Book of Revelations when I get it, unless the boss room is in the next room. Let's go left. It's not, and it's an extra large floor. Um, so I think, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and pop Book of Revelations, get my spirit heart. And I have 15 cents so I can go to a shop, which is actually really nice. We had a triple shot, by the way, in the last room. Also, I'm really, really, oh, that's a tease, you cock tease. I'm really hoping that I run into Polyphemus because we can do a Polyphemus $3 bill glitch where, uh, because usually, okay, so we have uh, the tough love here where we shoot teeth. Usually, when you pick up Polyphemus, you get a very, very high damage upgrade, but your uh, rate of fire is downgraded, like, a lot. But if you keep going, if you keep going in and out of a room until you get triple shot from $3 bill, and then you pick up Polyphemus, for some reason, you do not get the uh, deleterious effect of the rate of fire down when you pick up Polyphemus. So you get full rate Polyphemus, which is absolutely insane. Because even with the rate of fire down, Polyphemus is still worth taking. So it's especially worth taking if you don't have that negative effect of the tears down. Okay, I have no idea where I'm going, but I'm just kind of heading off in a direction. Wouldn't mind seeing a special room about now. But none to be found. At least not this way. Liking the damage, though, but we can always use more. Is that worth it to bomb into there? Um, yeah, we could check for the top secret room in the same in the same bomb. I like great chests. I don't know about you guys. See, I got a key from that. Bomb for a key and a penny. That's a pretty good deal. Triple shot. I do like triple shot. I wouldn't mind having that for real. Although that would be weird if you kept picking up the same things that $3 bill would give you. They should make it so that like in uh, rebirth, if you have um, if you have triple bill and you're gonna get triple shot on a room, three dollar bill, not triple bill, and you're gonna get triple shot, but you already have triple shot, you should get like a sextuple shot or, or whatever the you know six things or maybe even nine. You could do three times three, nine tears that come out of his face. That would be pretty insane. Um, I'm gonna go down and to the right. I'm thinking that that might be a special room place to be. Nope, just a dead end. But there's no worry, that because we're not like trying to get recharges on a D6. Uh, right now, we'll just use every recharge we get. Uh, the tick, cool. That's actually a good thing that we see that, because it won't show up anywhere else now. And I definitely won't take it. Like I said, I took it not that long ago on a run that I thought I was recording, but then it didn't work out. Uh, something went wrong with that run. With the recording, it kind of got corrupt or something like that. Uh, but it was fine because it was a stupid tick run anyways. We had to go to Shoal. Because for those of you who don't know, if you, if you pick up the tick and you don't have Mom's Purse, which allows for multiple trinkets to be held, you have to be holding um, the Polaroid in order to get to the chest, which is like the final level. Which is kind of a weird thing that they made you, you know, have to have a trinket to get to finish the game. But, oh, that's a shitty payout for that. Hopefully we don't take damage. But yeah, so if you pick up the tick, you can't pick up any other trinket. It's lodged into your head, and you can't pick up the Polaroid, so you can't beat the game. Which is shitty. And, like, you could say that uh, going to Shoal and uh, defeating the Devil is still considered beating the game, but, you know... It's not the hardest floor, it's not the last floor, so I don't really consider it being uh, a true win. That was dumb. All right, a key, okay. So we didn't only get a uh, heart from the gray chest, but we got a key for finishing the floor, which 
Eh, I don't know. I mean, I might not have gone in there if it was just a key, but I don't feel so stupid going in there now. Like I said, I, I like great chests. Free bomb, and then we have another soul heart from our Book of Revelations. Uh, here's our shop, and we can afford something, so we will be doing it. Uh, my reflection right now is not a good thing to have on this room, but that was perfect. Uh, let's go to the shop right away. Compass, please. Uh, nope, we got the coin purse, which is actually really, really good because we are cane and every single pill is good. Let's see here, we got a pretty fly, so that's one orbital. We have and ate them, so that's just nothing. A health up, fan freaking tastic And a health up, okay. So, why was there two different pills that both said health up? Well, luckily enough, the one pill, the first health up pill that we got was actually a health down pill. And, oh, you know what? Actually, it doesn't matter. It, it Either one of them could have been the health down pill in the rotation, but because we had luck foot, it actually made them both into health up pills. I was thinking that we only had one heart, so that in a normal, if, you, if you're Isaac or you're anybody else that doesn't have the luck foot, and you um, get, a, get a health down pill, if you get down to only one red heart total, not um, like you get damaged down to one red heart, but you still have like three containers. If you only have one container uh, for red hearts, that health down pill will actually turn into a health up pill. So you can kind of use that to your advantage if you play it smart. Uh, rosary, okay. I don't have a choice. That's just going to be faith up, so that's going to increase our chance to get um, deal with the angel, but I think that the item we get on the deal with the angel might be guaranteed to be a Bible now, at least on the first one. Uh, let's see here. Also, it gives us three spirit hearts, or soul hearts, I should say. There's tons of places that the, um, the top secret room, but, no, just the secret room, not the top secret room. Well, that too. On an extra large floor, it's not even worth looking for them unless you have tons of bombs. Let's just go right on into the boss room. We have Gertie. I'd much rather take on Gertie than Gertie Jr. Gertie is not so bad. You can kind of uh, tell what he's going to do and kind of predict his uh, motions. It does kind of get tricky though when he starts spawning a ton of shit. Or the, if like the flies that he spawns are like hiding behind him. Like it's very tricky. So whenever his head disappears, or whenever he's about to do anything pretty much, I just switch sides. So that uh, just in case he tries to shoot at me, he'll miss. I think I have my reflection on this one, which is kind of interesting. It's not really, uh, he's close enough so that it doesn't really matter that I have my reflection, but it's no big deal. All right, health upgrade? No, speed upgrade. Um, yeah, okay. The chance that we'll get a speed downgrade, like I said, like small rock or lard or something. This isn't, it's, it's borderline too fast, I should say. But we'll go into the second room here. We have the Fallen. Great, we're going to get a free uh, deal with the devil item. And we have Mom's Contact, so we're going to freeze the shit out of him. That's a very good combo. Very good. Come on, just freeze him. Freeze him. There we go. Ha <laughs> ha. Man, we're doing lots of damage. Oh, yeah. But now I'm nervous because he's going to... There we go. He's going to get out of that and do that. Perfect. Loving this right now. Just keep freezing him. And kind of freeze one and then work on the other one, I guess would be uh, an okay tactic. Or maybe I'll just try to finish him off. There we go. Now it's easy enough. Chidons. That was just a perfect combination. Loving it. Okay. 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 You're done. Uh, Rage. We don't really have a choice, so we're going to pick up Rage. Apparently, when you use Book of Revelations on an extra large floor, it does not guarantee that you will get a horseman. Unless it did guarantee that we got a horseman, and then something happened that guaranteed the Fallen on top of the Horseman, so that trumped over. I am i have no idea the tactics of extra large floors and all these things. Do we also got to deal with the Devil, so, um, yeah. Yep. Gonna buy the Pact. Do I buy Guppy's Paw? I don't think I do. I think I leave Guppy's Paw because we won't have any Red Hearts to trade for Soul Hearts anyways, and... We don't really have any item like Horror of Babylon or, or uh, the Polaroid yet that makes it so that we really need to have um, no red hearts, you know, like uh, so that we run, run on permanent Polaroid invincibility. So I'm just going to go ahead and pass that up. 
What am I looking for now? Okay, so Rage, eh, I like Rage. Oh, perfect time to get Magneto. Thank you for that. I completely forgot that was a thing, even though I mentioned it like a floor ago. Rage is actually a pretty good item. I like Rage a lot. Should come in handy. What am I looking for right now? I don't know. Let's just see, uh, let's finish up the floor. Let's see if there's any more special rooms, like a curse room or something. I can go ahead and bomb that. Get my gray chest on. Come on, get it. Got a bomb back for that in two pennies, so that was definitely worth it. Okay, another library. Let's go into the library and keep knocking out these books. Book of Shadows is a pretty good book. It gives you, like, invincibility or invulnerability, whatever you want to call it, for, like, ten seconds, which is, uh, I think it's the, the most invulnerability you can get from any item. Uh, I'm going to play this down to 15 cents so that we have enough. Well, you know, maybe we can even play it more than that. Because it's going to pay out with a lot of stuff. Because we have the luck foot, like I mentioned earlier, it's going to make these payouts. It's going to make it pay out basically 100%. I want to say it's not exactly 100%, but we're getting some good shit so far, so. Um, that's a pretty good trinket. I will take that trinket. That's going to make it so that we get more playing cards dropped. Uh, ooh, I think that's a better trinket. That's going to give us an extra 10% chance that we will uh, get soul hearts instead of red hearts. Okay, you know what? That's uh, good enough for me. Maybe I will just take a quick stab at finding the secret room, because that could be loaded with cash that I would like to dump into that machine so we can get more soul hearts or tarot cards. Keys are excellent right now. We're getting just, like, we're, we're good to go. We got really high damage. We have a lot of health. So usually you want either high damage or health, and right now we got both. But then again, it's, it's made of, of soul hearts, so there's no guarantee that we're going to keep it kind of the caveat there. Range up. We'll take it. That's definitely a positive. Oh, I completely forgot there were two item rooms. Uh, Mom's bra. That's actually a really, really good item. I kind of want to take Mom's bra. You know what? We'll get one more charge off of my Book of Revelations, and then I'm going to go back and, and pick up Mom's bra and roll with that instead. You know, we might not be able to get another charge, actually, because I need uh, two more rooms, and I think this is the last room. Yeah. You know what we can do, though? I can keep going uh, in and out of the room until I get Magneto. Just like how I got that last nickel. This could take a while. Uh, if it does, I'll probably cut it out. There we go. We got it. Worth it. That's going to guarantee the shop for us on the next floor. Um, and I got three extra cents over 15, so I'm going to go ahead and dump that into this machine. I would like to get Curved Horn right now. Or cancer. I'd probably take those over Mom's Pearl. Ah! I just jinxed myself, didn't I? Cancer was one of the ones that I was like kind of almost not thinking I wanted to take. Uh, strictly because we don't have... When we get rid of um, our... What is it? What do we get rid of? Um, I'm talking on my ass right now. If we get rid of Book of Revelations, we won't have a way to generate soul hearts. And that's kind of what we're depending on right now for health so i don't know but i really like mom's bra and i don't ever use it so i think it'd be interesting i'm gonna go ahead and give a stab at the secret room just see if i can find it i'd love to have the cash uh or that i will blow that up you know what there was actually another machine up there that i could blow up for money push pin don't want it but i think i'm actually gonna save my bomb instead of blowing up that machine and I'm going to go ahead and take Mom's bra right now. I, this could be a mistake. I'm not sure. But I know that Mom's bra is a pretty damn good item to have on any boss. So I think this will be a good thing to have. Well, you know, what? If, if we end up getting Nun's Habit or the 9 Volt or the Battery, I think that Book of Revelations probably would have been better. But that's okay. I like Mom's Bra, especially for uh, the potential of making Isaac and Blue Baby a lot easier. Um, especially, especially if we have such a high fire rate. Like right now, I think we have number one, which is giving us the max fire rate. We don't normally have this high of a fire rate, but wouldn't that be sick? That would be amazing. Uh, ten bombs. Worth it? Yeah, we're pretty low. I'll take it. 
It'll give us uh, extra potential to search for secret rooms. And I like my secret rooms. There's some pretty damn good items in those secret room pools. For example, uh, raw liver. That's just plus two HP. Really, really good. Transcendence. That's just free flight. Uh, there's a fetus item in there. And I have never, ever gotten a fetus item. So I would have no quarrels of taking it. I know that some people and some YouTubers, they don't take it on purpose because they think it makes the game cheap. Uh, much like I passed up Brimstone because I felt the same way. But you know what? I've never gotten a fetus item and I would love to use it. So suck on that, YouTube. I mean, I love you. Okay, so maybe we do have this amount of crazy fire rate. Like, wh how did we get this crazy of fire rate? Or did, or did I get number one again? I'm not sure anymore. Not sure of anything. Give me a boss room. I'm gonna use this, uh, I guess that, that's our fire rate. I guess we just have that insane fire rate. I'm not sure what happened or what we got to give us that fire, uh, the, 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 that amount of fire rating. No, that doesn't make sense. Fire ration? What's this? Health up. We'll take. Thank you. That key, um, I could go back in and out until I got Magneto and then just get it that way, but I don't think I'm gonna do that. Uh, is there a way I can do this without taking damage? Maybe. That was dumb. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and just use the glitch here. Perfect. Any tinted rocks hidden in there? I don't see any. Another library. Do we have any more books in the pool? Okay, we do. We have a book of Belial. That might be the last book. I haven't been counting, but if we get libraries in the future, we're gonna get, uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Easy now. Easy mask of infamy. Uh, if we get any more libraries in the future, they're gonna be double item rooms, which is actually pretty insane to get if you're not Isaac. Because usually, even when you are Isaac and you have the ability to go through books super quickly with the D6, it's still not guaranteed you're gonna get to those double item rooms. We've been getting just tons of libraries. Well, look out. Uh, health. Yes, I will take the health. And I will go into the shop because I have 20 cents. Super greed. That's fine with me. You know what? I'm actually going to freeze him. Suck on that, super greed. Try to hit him with all three shots there. Perfect. Yeah, buddy. Oh, yeah, that's good. Uh, 25 cents. Okay. He usually doesn't drop uh, 25 cents worth anyway. So that's actually an improvement. Uh, key and a heart. That's, yeah, bomb for key. It's worth it. There's gonna be another uh, opportunity here to go for a, oh, two gray chests. That makes it easy. And a trinket that I don't really want, so whatever. Okay, give me something good. Lots of money, lots of keys. So we got bomb for key again, which like I said, is worth it. And we got three extra keys, so, or three extra bombs. That was definitely, definitely a positive thing. I usually go for those great chests, like I said, and, and this is exactly why. It's it's paying out for us. That fire rate, though. Man, if I got Polyphemus and did, did the glitch where I got uh, this fire rate for Polyphemus, like, that would be insane. Uh, let's see here. We have our bra ready. That sounds really odd. I never thought I would say that in my life. But my bra is ready, and I'm going into the boss room. Loki, I'm going to freeze the shit out of you, buddy. Suck on that. God, that fire rate. And that damage we got. And our health. Everything is awesome right now. Everything is just perfect. Uh, health upgrade would have been nice. Crazy eight, uh, the, the eight ball. I don't want to pick up the eight ball. That's going to give me a shot speed upgrade, which is going to give me insane knockback, especially with this fire rate. It will give me a tarot card, but I have got a, I've got a good tarot card, so I don't really need it. So we're going to bypass that for now. Um, oh, yes. Got to do it. Gotta do it, and now we will have permanent Polaroid invincibility until we get another health up. Okay, so I just got Flight and Spectral Tears. Spirit of the Night is fantastic. I love me some Spirit of the Night. Those two items, uh, Flight and, and Spectral Tears, it just makes it so that it's, it's just such a good defensive item that we can now camp over spots like this where enemies can't walk into us because they can't cross the gaps. And enemies that, uh, so let's say we don't have a gap like this, we can just hide over a rock like this and kill our enemies. Super nice. Except for enemies that can fly, I guess. And that was dumb damage to take. 
On these guys, you actually take a full heart of damage. So I need to stop being a jackass here. Uh, golden chest. I've got eight keys. It's plenty. Soul heart from that. Mm, yeah, sure, fine. I'll take it. What am I looking for? Um, we haven't found our item room yet. And there it is. Speak of the devil. And he shall appear. God damn, that range too. Um, okay, so we have a telepathic shot. So it's actually heat seeking on the enemies. And yeah, great. I'll go for that key. Not. Well, that's just shitty. How do I. Yeah, worth it. Bomb for a key. Uh, spider butt. Don't want spider butt. It's actually very, very similar to Mom's bra. It uh, freezes enemies and actually does like a Necronomicon effect where it damages all the enemies in a room, but it's it's uh, not as long of a freeze effect and it's not that great of damage. So I think I'm just gonna pass it up and keep moving on. And now what am I looking for? I have no idea. Tinted rock. That's what I'm looking for. Oh, look at that. We found it. Small rock would have been perfect. Speed down and a damage up would be phenomenal right now, but no such luck. So I have 17 bombs, so I'm definitely going to check for that secret room. It's not there. Could be right here. That'd be my second guess. Yep. Uh, money. Money's good. Oh, wow. Rogue shot from that orange flame. I think that actually got blocked by my cube of meat. Thank you, cube of meat. Um, what was I saying? 15 bombs? You know what? We have enough that I feel comfortable looking for the top secret room. And I'll try maybe like four places, this being one of them. Gotta love that. I love it when you get it on the first shot. Uh, okay, that was kind of meaningless since we've already been there and I don't want anything else. But we found it. Still feels good. I think we cleared off everything on this floor. Book of Belial was in the library, I remember that. And is there anything left that we should buy here? Nope, it was super greed, that's right. So we are out of here. Nothing left for us here. 61 cents, how did we get 61 cents? I don't remember how we got that much money, but uh, money equals power would be a very nice find. The odds that we'll get it are pretty slim, considering um, you usually will pick that up in a deal with the devil, and we don't have any health to trade. So I wouldn't get my hopes up for uh, getting that item. There's potential that I could get it um, from, like, maybe a red chest, potentially. Could There could be a demon judgment, but then again, I can't play demon judgment. I can, but I'm, I'm not going to give my soul hearts up to demon judgment, so... Yeah, I don't think uh, money equals power is something that's going to happen. I could get like six health up pills too, and that, that's definitely an option. And that would give me the health required uh, to buy something from the devil. Look out, look out. I totally walked into that one, that's my bad. Panicked. Uh, it's Necropolis, level two, so we will be fighting Mom. So I kind of want to clear out everything, find the item room, find the shop before we go in there, because we do not have a teleport card, so we won't be able to get back out. Whoa, look out. Tricky room. Very tricky room. There we go. We got out of it without taking any damage, which is fantastic. Oh, there was another book. You son of a bitch. You anarchi anarchist bastard. Hate that book, too. Uh, curse room. Absolutely. Absolutely not. What are we looking for right now? Item room. Looking for a blue chub. My reflection is not ideal to have on this. We got plenty of bombs though, so I feel comfortable feeding some to him. That damage though. We can actually just hide out over the rocks and we don't have to worry about him. Easy enough. Pill. We don't know what this one is. It's a luck up pill. That's pretty cool. That's gonna give us uh, more teeth when we have tough luck shot. Let's see here, we have seven keys. I will open that golden chest. Two bombs for that, eh. Don't really, that wasn't really worth it. Um, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and just blow the whole load right now. And that slot machine says no. That always seems to happen on these lone slot machines. It just, it just doesn't blow up even when I place a bomb right next to it. Um, I think I'm just gonna blow this up since I don't have the health to spend on it. 
a red heart back. I should have expected that. Item room. Steroids. That's going to be a damage and a speed. Speed and range. Roid rage. I thought that was a damage up, but no, that's actually something else. This is actually speed and range, which we absolutely did not need. It's actually a pretty crazy speed upgrade. So we are going to be flying. Literally. And figuratively. I'm not sure why I'm really playing this. Give it one more go here. Nope, okay. I'm gonna try to blow it up again. There we go. Oh, fantastic. Curved Horn is my fav favorite trinket. Favorite? It's also my favorite trinket. Uh, it gives us a plus two damage upgrade, which is pretty crazy. We actually get a damage upgrade from Cancer as well as, um, well, you know what? Cancer might have been better. I think Cancer was what gave, gave us the uh, crazy fast fire rate. I think that, that makes a lot of sense. But we're shooting fast enough and with extra damage and yada yada yada. Also, we're going to be getting rid of our trinket anyways in the end of this floor, so it doesn't matter. Unless, unless, unless we get Mom's purse right here. Nope, compass. The compass is fantastic. No sadness for me. Don't need to buy that bomb, even though it's on sale. Tons of money, but I'll save that in case there's a... Uh, <clears throat> there could be a potential arcade with a fortune teller machine. There could be some judgments laying around. It's always good to have the extra cash on you and not waste it. I have a full bra, which I've had forever. Okay, that's not really something that I want right now, so I will just blow it up. Mana, 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 mana. Mob trap room. Or boss trap room. Doesn't matter. We can get into both. Great chest with a quarter. Or not a quarter, but a nickel. Whoa, that was close. I was just... Uh, I panicked and ran with it. Meat. Uh, ooh. Do we get the meat? It's a damage up, which is fantastic. But it's a health up. And it's going to make it so that our Polaroid, which we're going to pick up after we fight Mom, is not going to give us permanent Polaroid invincibility because we won't be at a half red heart. But um, on the very on chance that we run into an arcade, I can go ahead and trade. Well, you know what? From now on, I can't because arcades take full hearts and not half hearts. So I'm wondering if you only have one red heart left, does it take half the red heart and then half a soul heart? I'm not sure. We should test this. It'd be worth a shot to lose a soul heart just to see if we could do that. I think that's not so bad because we've had soul hearts off the screen for a while now. We would have a lot more if we kept the Book of Revelations. That's absolutely, I, I agree with that. But uh, Mom's Bra, I think, is going to be worth it, especially when we get down to Isaac and Blue Baby. I'm not really sure where I'm going anymore. I think we cleared out the entire floor. You think so, too? Let's get out of here. Okay, Mom fight. Should be pretty easy. Let's try to freeze her when her foot comes down. Right now. There we go. There is a uh, tinted rock, which is very nice. High Priestess card is not something that I want to use because it's going to actually send Mom's foot down upon myself, considering we're in the Mom room. Grab that spear heart now. It's going pretty well so far. I haven't had to, haven't had to cheese her, which I've done like eight out of the past nine times I fought her. Perfect. And another health upgrade. I, I guess we'll take it since we already have the one health upgrade. Alright, so we're going to have to take the Polaroid. There's no if, ands, or buts about it. Curved Horn will be missed, but we have lots of damage. We just got that uh, meat too, so that's, you know, an added perk. Not sure how that hit me, but now that one hit me too! Son of a bitch! Okay, we gotta be smarter about this. Another one of these rooms are testing me right now. Can handle it. If I just think hard, I can usually... Oh my god, third one. If I just think harder, use my brain more, I can usually come out on top. Gaby. On top of your mom. Hello. I'm not really sure where I'm running. I think I forgot that I had uh, the compass. And I just started going off in a direction. Uh, we can actually pull our head out of the brass right now and actually f use the items that we have. So there's the curse room, which I'm, I'm kind of don't, it doesn't really do anything for me right now. Uh, I will go to that challenge room if it's on the way. Looks like it might not be, so. 
So it looks like down might be the way to the boss, and I think that might be the best option. But you know what? Let's uh, let's be interesting. Let's go for it. Let's let the Cuban meat do its biznass here. We have spectral tears, so we just get him to pop up and then sit here. It's a perfect spot. Uh, another orbital. Great. Now we have a full suite of orbitals and another health uphill. At this point, let's just get all the health we can get. You know what? Lay it on. And I'll just walk him into the spikes. Be easier than the cube of meat. Alright. And we have a beggar. So that's pretty good that we went this way. I'm gonna go ahead and jump in here right now. Gray chest. Not at this point. I Nah, it's just not worth it. Let's save our health, but let's spend our money on this beggar. Hopefully he pays out with something cool. Nun's habit would be pretty cool. Uh, the Bible. New. But that was another book that we haven't gotten. So, if we end up running into a library on the womb 2, we'll definitely, we should definitely at this point get a double item room. Because we've touched, like, so many books. It's ridiculous. Alright. Eyeless ooze, I can just kind of camp out. Oh, you kind of have to hit it right, though. I'm moving way too fast in order to do that accurately. Here we go. Now I got it. Still can't see our health, which is a good thing. Perfect. Give me that red heart. I actually really want a uh, half red heart. I probably shouldn't have grabbed that full red heart because now I don't have the ability to get down to a um, down to a level where uh, I'll have Polaroid active. But that's okay. We have death, so it's definitely worth it right now to use Mom's bra. Get as much through him as we can. I will save the High Priestess card for Isaac. This guy's a pain in my ass. A huge pain in my ass. Let's finish him off. Nice and quick before he spawns any zombies. Yes. Yes. Look out. The knockback on the horse is ridiculous. Look out. All right. Bring it on, you bitch. This is really annoying. Really annoying. Stop it. He has so much health, too. It's ridiculous. That was like a Seinfeld. Ridiculous. Dude, seriously. There you go. Okay, second level cube of meat. Is it worth it? Why not? YOLO at this point. Uh, let's take a stab at the secret room quick before we head on. Could be something good in there. Uh, money. That's fine. I'm okay with that. Oh, look out! Almost took damage there. Thank you, Cuban Meats. Alright. What are we looking for? Polyphemus. 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 Wow. Wow. They fucking would do that to me. Look where the boss is. Now look where that library is. And I was just talking about how it'd be so nice to get a library and they put it on the frickin' far end of the entire world. We're doing it. We're going for it. I'm not gonna pass it up at this point. All that hard work getting those libraries, opening up the door, putting the key in to open those library doors, and picking up those heavy, heavy books. All that work we put into it. I'm not gonna just let that go to waste. We really didn't put any work into getting those libraries. That was actually pure luck, so it wouldn't really matter if we passed it up. But at this point, I feel like it'd be kind of foolish. And, it, and it's fun to go see what our items are going to be. Oh my god, soup's fun. Okay, these brain guys need to die, though. There you go. Now the pill. Pills in the way. Which it's just a added perk of going to extra rooms. Speaking of added perks, there's a key. We need at least four keys for the chest. Oh, look out. Laser. Get that guy first. Froze him with mom's contact. Absolutely perfect. We're getting, like, all the right effects, man. Thank you, $3 bill. Very good find. But it, it's not always a good find, because sometimes it gives you bad tier effects in the wrong time. Okay, let's not be stupid about this. You stay in, motherfucker. Another range upgrade. Okay, we should have just crazy range right now. It should definitely make it across the entire map. Uh, it doesn't make it across the entire map. Haven't I gotten like three or four range upgrades? Maybe I'm crazy. All 
Alright. Library. Give me two items, please. Yes. Okay. Well, they're not th well, they're not that good, is the thing. But it gave us the two items. It was still sort of exciting. Uh, Ghost Baby, I, I don't like familiars. I just don't like to have them. They're going to give me extra shots on Isaac, which is going to make him shoot back at me. And the shots that they shoot are uh, very, very low damage. So it's not worth it. Especially at this point. If this was like the first one or two floors, I, I would be um, more likely to take it. What I'm going to do here is actually try to look for the uh, look for a, a secret tinted rock. I was hoping for like a small rock out of that, but because we have plenty of bombs, might as well use them up, right? We can actually look for the top secret room as well. But since I haven't explored the entire floor, we should probably keep going. And since I'm gonna have to backtrack a lot to find a top secret room, I probably won't do it. I don't know. We'll see how much motivation I have when the time comes. I haven't had the need to use uh, Mom's bra yet. So that means we've had pretty easy floors here. Okay, you're dead. You die. Tons of money. Holy shit. Totally forgot about the money. You bastard. We could... No, we can't get. So we got a health upgrade pill. That means that the less than three was taken out of the rotation. So he's just going to give us hearts. That's fine. Uh, Demon Judgment. Yes, I think I will play you. There's tons of hearts on the floor, too, so... Okay, let's see if I give him... Okay, I want that pill. I found pills. Okay, it doesn't matter. Oh, fucking son of a bitch! Oh my god, I hate that! Fuck you, game. Seriously. Fucking game. Fuck you. Wow. Did you see that? I picked up the pill and walked away with the pill and used it. But it had done the thing where you're like, oh, you picked the pole, oh, and then it switched it and gave me the fucking card. Ah, oh, when they're in tight spaces like that, it swaps your items out super quickly, way faster than it actually should. So, fucking, ugh, that's so annoying that it does that. We're gonna have a half heart interval, which we should try to keep now, at this point. And even if he doesn't pay out, we'll still be at a half heart interval and have a uh, permanent Polaroid invincibility active. Okay. Be smart about this now. Luck up, we'll take. You know what, I'm just gonna take this pill now. That really sucks that I lost that mom card, the high priestess. God damn it, I'm bitter right now. You saw that, that was some freaking that's game's cheating, man. Hack. There we go, perfect. All right, two more plays on him. You know what, I actually had permanent Polaroid invincibility. Not permanent, I just had Invincibility from the Polaroid and I didn't use it to get more plays out of Demon Judgment, which is dumb. I'm flustered right now. I'm not thinking straight All right, we need to do that right now though. We have like at least a couple more plays here on him Three I got it. and he gave us our item and it's mr. Mega, which is actually a really strange thing to get from uh From a Demon Judgment I would think that we would get a Devil Room item because I thought he had the Devil Room pool Apparently I'm just crazy. Also, for some reason, it just decided to take our uh, half-heart interval away from us. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. Don't ask questions. Somebody give me a half-heart here. I found pills again. Full heart. Okay. I'm going to go back and check the other rooms just to see if there was a half-heart in those. Because I see there are two rooms with hearts in it. Still hoping to get that Polyphemus. We could get it at any point in time. There's our half heart, perfect. An arcade would have been really, really nice because I would have traded away some of my health to get down to that permanent Polaroid invincibility state. But that didn't happen. I'm not sure where the arcade went on this en entire run. We didn't get like any arcades at all. That's strange. Usually I get tons of arcades. And especially like with this much money, you'd think there would definitely be a very high percentage chance that those arcades would spawn. I've got flight, he doesn't, so suck it. Uh, fight, do we go to Mom's Heart Battle right now or do we go to the curse room? Do we check for the top secret room? I'll check one spot, right here. Nope, not there. You know what, might as well check there as well. Nope, let's do it. Okay, take out the laser beams first. Uh, we have teeth on this fight, which is pretty good. Better than a lot of other things that we could have potentially had. 
I'm gonna actually freeze her while she's down right now. Go ahead and maybe place more bombs while I'm shooting. Working out pretty nicely. Oh yeah. She didn't even stand a chance. That was pretty nice. I do not want that half heart. Keep my half heart interval and we will go up to the cathedral right now. Curse of Darkness, yay! Fucking game. These two floors, Cathedral and the Chest, are the two worst floors to get Curse of Darkness on. Uh, another pill, range upgrade. Can we shoot across the map now? Yes. No, well, eh. I mean, potentially it would hit something, I think, if it was maybe not in the very corner. So it's, it's close enough. My reflection, kind of odd to have right now. Those range upgrades though, like I said, really help when you have my reflection. This is really annoying. Who pushed that out of the way? I have no idea who pushed that. And I'm not really sure how I'm dodging all this <laughs> right now. There's just a bullet storm going on right now. Jeez. Well, that was perfect. Alright, take him out. Take him out, take him out. Oh, look out. Wow. Uh, my Cuban meat is just a champion right now. Or I should say my super meat boy familiar is a champion. What is this? Oh, library. Cool. Uh, vampiric shot. Is that worth it? I will take the virus. That gives us poison touch. Vampiric shot. Could potentially give us some red hearts. I think it gives you like a half red heart per six kills or something like that or maybe it's like 15 i'm not sure um but you know what that actually might take us out of our uh half heart interval so i probably don't want to take him eesh eesh go away get out of here Just stay behind the rocks and they don't shoot at you oh god i hate when they do that they always spawn in my butthole that bomb's not worth it uh double slot so we'll probably get a tarot card here at the end of this Hopefully it's good. Hopefully it's another High Priestess card, like the one they stole from me. And then they caused me to use it on myself. Because if there's no enemies in the room, you just get stomped on by Mom's foot. You're the only target. God, that was just so shitty. That was like a perfect storm of just shit. I'm extra bitter, too, because it wasn't really... I don't feel like it was my bad. I feel like it was the game's bad. And this is actually perfect, because we'll be able to use the- Oh! Wow, I walked into it to try to frickin' uh, get another play out of it, but it dropped a blood bag, and yay, why isn't that a good thing? Why, you, you want the blood bag, right? It's an HP upgrade, and it's a speed upgrade. No, I would have much rather had permanent Polaroid invincibility at our half-heart interval. That's what I was going for when I dropped that card, but you know what? It's too late now. Um... Do I want Brother Bobby? It's another familiar. No, I don't want it. I know it was free, but it's a free thing that's going to make it so that I take more damage in the future, which is not going to be a good thing. Mom's contact is actually a very good thing, though, to have against these guys. Ah! Spawned in my butthole again. Run through! Alright, let's get out of here. Ooh! Let's see if this is a secret room. Nope. Okay. Could have been. There we go. Here's another temperance machine. Blood bank. Temperance card. Not really a temperance machine. Look out. Bicycle helmet's super annoying, but we have fantastic fire rate and damage right now, so it's no big deal. Uh, ooh, our health is actually on the screen. I, I think it's still worth it, though. Oh, wait. We don't have a half heart though. We need a half heart in order to get to half heart interval. Otherwise it's all for nothing. Another pretty fly that doesn't matter. Um, shoot. And that just blew up my face. We're losing health fast here. It's not a good thing. Somebody needs to drop a half heart. Like, meow. Right, meow. I'm gonna freeze these guys. It's worth it. Alright, a 
let's just peek our heads in. Eh, it could contain a half heart in there, but I don't think I want to take the chance. Probably take more damage than what it's worth. Okay, so I'm looking for that half heart, not a full heart. Vampiric shot is actually kind of looking not so bad right now. Let's just take that. Hell, we won't play the blood bank. I will take this. Because we're not at the level anyways, it doesn't really matter. The half heart ends up dropping. Oh, that's pretty nice. Top secret room for free. The half heart drops. I'll just go ahead and go back and play that temperance machine. Blood bank. And get to my half heart interval that way. That's definitely not a half heart. It's in our top secret room. Eternal heart. It's well protected, so I might as well take it. Uh, up or down? Uh, let's go down. Really want to find that boss room. Anytime now. Oh, I forgot he did that shot. I'd like to find the boss room or a library. It'd be pretty nice to find. Arcade, not so bad either. Especially if it had a fortune telling machine. Speaking of, where were the fortune telling machines this run? Wow, my knockback almost pushed him into my uh, path there. Our bra is back, so we're ready to take on Isaac. And I think that's what we're going to do. Whoa, look out! Let's just do it. Let's jump in right now. Feet first. I'm gonna go ahead and wait to freeze him until he's on a harder version, harder phase. Lots of speed right now, so it's actually gonna be pretty difficult to dodge. Uh, I'm just gonna dodge into some shit too, because apparently I'm dumb. Look out, look out, look out. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and just use space bar right now. Get up right, nice and close. I uh, have uh, poison touch, so I might as well touch him as much as I can. And I'm gonna back off now, because he's gonna come out of it at any point. So we got about, like, what? A quarter of his health just by freezing him? That's yeah, worth it. Took no damage for that time period. Third phase. All right. Just make it past this, please. Mom's contact would've been really nice to have at this point in time. But we didn't get it, so there's no point in complaining. We're getting pretty close to our eternal heart, so maybe I shouldn't have taken that, that right away. I thought it was well protected, but... I wasn't really thinking about the prospects of fighting Isaac. Yeah, we're down to our uh, eternal heart, which is going to be gone soon enough. Woo! Yep, there it goes. Soul heart, grab that now. Oh, grabbed it and lost it simultaneously. Wow, okay. So we lost all of our health. And Abel has appeared in the basement, I'm not sure why. Okay, so, we have basically no health, we're going down to the chest, and we're hoping for a miracle. We need Polythemus. That's not Polythemus. Nor is that, but that's good, I will take that. That's gonna increase the speed of our orbitals and replace one of our, oh god, terrible. <sighs> Fucking hey. We have a secret room that has a mini boss in it, so that might be worth going into. Good lord. Who do we want to kill right now? I want to kill Lust last. Uh, percentage chance of dropping maybe some soul hearts. But it's really hard to kill him last. Oh, him, her. Freezing was perfect. Would you just die? What's your problem? Your health bar says you're dead. Oh my god, he took like 20 shots after that. Uh, pills. Interesting. I found pills, which is garbage, and a range up. Ugh. We're not looking so hot right now, man. It's not good. Plus, our, our boss room is really far away. Greed, you need to die. My orbitals right now are just absolute champions. Yeah, we're gonna die. There's no way we can we can win. There we go. That's the health we needed. Good thing we killed Gluttony last. Oh, we're still in some pretty rough shape right now. Some pretty rough waters. Oh, that's really nice. Give me some more of those, please. 
would have been really nice if I didn't pick up those two hearts so we could be at a half heart interval. But you know what, if I take damage, I'll go back. I think this room is worth using Mom's Bra on. Could probably take uh, two of these guys before they come back alive, hopefully. Take them out, take them out. Yes, perfect. One is not so bad. I usually take damage against Widows. I'm not sure what it is. It just happens. Okay. Okay. We can take five hits before we're dead. Let's hope, hope we can keep this. Oh, no! This is just fucking too hard, man! I fucking hate death! He's the worst! You are the worst in the fucking universe! Okay, so he's not the worst, but he's still pretty fucking bad. Jesus. That knockback, though. Thank God the horse is dead. Ah, oh, man. Give me an item. Give me Polyphemus. Uh, speed and range upgrade. That's just... Fuck you, game. I have so much speed, and it's, it's insane. Okay, that was bad placement on my part. That was decent placement on my part. That was also decent placement. Oh, that was a good jump on his part. Did not see that coming. Fucking A, man. This is not going well at all. These guys are spawning so many fucking enemies. Okay, just keep this guy locked in. Keep them both locked in now. There we go. Now we got it. Good lord. Two hits. Two hits on Blue Baby. Okay. Carrion Queens. Yay. I'm gonna use all the bombs I fucking have in the world. And I'm okay with it. Come on. This way. Over here. Come on. Fuck you! He's supposed to charge at me! I'm gonna die before I even get the blue baby! God, this is pathetic. So many poops! You guys, I, I have to do this. I have to use my fucking bra charge. And now I'm definitely screwed on Blue Baby. There's no way I could kill him. Okay, this guy's fucking bouncing all over the place with these poops here. Uh... All right, we have to take on Blue Baby and we can't take a single lick of damage. Yay! It's not gonna go well. I'm not sure if triple shot's a good thing or a bad thing. I completely, completely forgot that we had rage. Oh. Not feeling good about this. Not feeling good at all. Yep, there it is. What was I supposed to do? Oh, that's so fucking annoying. Yep, that's just a classic case of we lost all of our health and we had no way to get it back and we got fucked by the game. We actually were extremely powerful, but not powerful enough to take on those last guys. We need something like Mom's Knife or Polyphemus or something ridiculous that would give us maybe more soul hearts. Ah, shitty. And we had some uh, pretty shitty luck when it came to uh, getting uh, enemies, but that's okay. Uh, it happens. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I will see you in the next episode. See you guys.